YouTube, welcome back to a new video. I am back with another style of video. This time it's all about the denim. So I am reassessing all of the jeans in my wardrobe. I did a video like this about two years ago, I think it was in 2017, where I reassessed everything in my entire wardrobe. And back then, if you remember that video, everything clothes-wise that I had fit onto one rail and in one drawer of a chest of drawers. Now, a few things have crept into my wardrobe since then. I think it's kind of part and parcel of the job. However, I am still very selective as to what I let into my wardrobe and I do still like to keep things quite curated. So I wanted to go through my denim as I feel like I need a little bit of a sort out. There are a few pairs that I feel have been neglected. Maybe I need to give them a new lease of life or maybe they just need to be rehomed. So this video is just that, me going through my denim collection and maybe you can find some insight in it too and I can share which are my favourites. But speaking of favourites, it may come of no surprise if you're a regular to this channel that I am starting with my weekday row jeans because these have to be my number one absolute favourite jeans which you're probably, probably sick of hearing me talk about but I absolutely love them. They are a super high waisted straight leg jean and this is just a style that I absolutely love and for me it took the longest time for me to find a high waisted jean that's straight legged that just fits right because I often find a lot of straight leg jeans don't quite fit my body shape in terms of the waist to thigh to bum ratio and all that stuff. So yeah, I absolutely love these. I got these in a size 26 waist, 32 leg, but I actually cut the hem off these like just not long after I got them because they were super long. I am usually a 32 leg, but these were kind of like ridiculously long and for my style, I just prefer them to be sort of this crop on the leg so I just cut them off with a pair of scissors and I've naturally let them fray over time and I really like the way they look. Waist wise it's interesting because I usually fit quite comfortably into a 27 waist however these were a 26 I actually had to have them taken in which you may have seen if you watch my style diaries videos so I'll come in close so you can see. I had these taken in at the denim doctor in Manchester and he did an amazing job like you can't tell well they're actually taken in along the back here it's really yeah it's, it's a great way to kind of revamp denim that maybe no longer fits or if yeah you just need to resize it and you want it to fit perfectly like, these are such a perfect fit now they're still comfortable there's still a bit of room in them but just have that nice streamlined look to them which i really really like and it's really interesting because i feel like the sizes in this particular style can be a little bit hit and miss you may see this little pile of denim over here. And actually, not long after purchasing these, I purchased the exact same style in the Ecru because I thought it would be nice to go for a light pair of denim. And I went for these in a 26, 30 leg, thinking the waist will be fine, I just want a slightly shorter leg. And strangely enough, these were such a, so much of a tighter fit. So these, I'm not even gonna to bother to try them on because whilst I can get into them, they're so tight that I can just basically stand there. And I think at first I kind of deceived myself by thinking, you know, they'll stretch over time, but they're that tight that I can't even wear them to let them stretch. So it's kind of pointless. And it's crazy because they're, like I said, they're the same waist size. I should have rehomed these a long time ago, but I think I kept saying to myself, oh, I'll stretch them out. But every time I put them on, I take them straight back off because I can barely even zip them up. However, recently I went to replace them and unfortunately the Ecru had sold out and I was a bit impatient and I wanted a light pair of jeans. So I got them in the white instead. So these I went for in a size 27 waist, 30 leg. And I'd say these are a pretty good fit. I'm really happy with the crop on the leg. They're slightly cropped, but not too much. And they're really comfortable. I've worn these quite a few times. It is a shame about the Ecru shape because obviously there's a slight difference there. Um, but the white have also been really wearable. So I'm definitely keeping the white pair um, and I'm gonna rehome the Ecru. So I'm gonna start a little pile here actually. And I love these so much that I also got them in the black. And it is confusing because again, it's slightly different again. So the black are in a size 27 waist, 30 leg. Really happy with the sizing on these, but I'd say the leg length in the 30 in the black is slightly longer than the leg length in the 30 in the white which I have no idea why. Still, I think both work. The white's obviously slightly more cropped on me. I won't be cutting the hem off either of these. The waist on the black has stretched quite a bit already, so I feel like I will end up having these taken in, as I have done with these sky blue ones. Um, but other than that, they're really comfortable. Still really happy with them. It's just something to bear in mind. If you do go for them, you need to kind of be wary of the sizes. 
and I will say with the blue ones, because I do wear them quite a bit, they do get slight knees in them. It's quite a thick, rigid denim, so there's not really any stretch. In fact, I don't think there's any stretch in this denim. However, they do get slight knees, which you can probably see a tiny bit, but it's nothing major. Like, this is the worst they tend to get. I've had denim before where the knees are horrendous to the point that I just hate wearing them. But this is the worst these get, but I don't mind that. So if you can cope with that, you'll be fine. I don't mind it too much. I don't think it's the worst thing but it's just something to bear in mind give you a twirl so yeah definitely keeping these and the black pair and the white pair right so next i have another pair that need no introduction because these are probably my second favorite pair of jeans and these are my weekday voyage jeans so slightly different style but a similar sort of thing another straight leg denim i'd say these are slightly slimmer on the leg and slightly lower on the waist even though they're still high waisted but i'd say the row jeans are like super high waisted and these are more of like a mom jean fit really love this style though i think i actually purchased the voyage jeans before i purchased the row jeans but still um, firm staple favorites again i had these ones taken in as well so these are a 27 waist 32 leg and i feel like these are perfect on the leg i really like how they look with heels but a lot of the time i actually i'll just do a quick roll up i actually wear them with a roll up when i'm wearing them with trainers and things which i think looks really cool as well and they'll even look nice with a roll up with heels as well which I sometimes wear them um, but yeah the leg length on the leg is really really good I'll come in close uh, again I have these taken in like I've said just so it fits more streamlined and as you can see now it's like the perfect fit I feel like getting your denim tailored or for me getting my denim tailored was a real revelation because it means that you can just find the perfect fit in something if something's a little bit too big and it needs taken in at the waist or whatever I always find denim a nightmare to shop for so yeah it's definitely been a game changer for me I absolutely love this style in fact I'm surprised I don't have these in more colours because again I really like them again they've got that thick denim not any stretch in them um, they're not too bad on the knees in these either wash really well just really comfortable just a good everyday pair of jeans so definitely keeping these so next I've got this cropped kick flare pair of jeans from Warehouse. I absolutely love these. I do wear these quite a lot as well. These are 26 waist, 30 leg. I absolutely love the fit of these. They're high waisted but not too high waisted. They come to kind of just below the belly button. Um, and yeah, they're kind of like a slight stretch fit, but very comfortable. They don't get, get any knees or anything like that. They just look really good. I'll come in close with these. These are slightly more of a washed black, so they're not jet black. Um, and they've washed pretty well to be fair. I've had black denim jeans before like this that haven't washed very well and I wear them absolutely loads. I've had these since last winter and I know I'm going to still get loads of wear out of them. They look good with boots, they look good with heels. So they're just a good all-rounder black pair of denim. I love them. <laughs> Next we've got this super flared pair and these were from Amazon Find. Um, these are 26, 32 like yeah that's correct. I wore these quite a bit last winter, I think I wore them mainly with boots, I wouldn't necessarily wear them with these shoes but just for the purpose of this video this is how I'm trying them on. Um, yeah I don't, I think I'm going to rehome these because I really don't wear them and I don't feel like I love them anymore, like yeah. I don't really feel like they fit into my current wardrobe that much. I think if I was going to go for a flare right now, like this much of a flare, I'd go for a full length one. I would really love a full length down to the floor flare denim, but I don't know if I'll get a pair. But I feel like because I've got the black kick flare, which is slightly less flary, <laughs> Um, I, I never pull these out, I always go for the other ones, so I feel like it's pointless me keeping both. So because of that, I'll rehome these. But other than that, I'm pretty impressed, pretty fitted, um, they've worn really well, they haven't gone baggy at all, uh, very comfortable. So yeah, uh, decent pair of jeans to be honest, but yeah, I'm not going to be keeping these ones. Next we've got this pair from Abercrombie, wouldn't necessarily team them with the shoes, but this is just what I'm trying all the jeans on with today. Um, when I first got these, I absolutely loved them and I remember looking at them on the bum and really liking them. <laughs> but I haven't worn them half as much as I had hoped. Uh, I think I got them late last year. I was actually working with Abercrombie at the time and I tried them on in store and I thought they looked really cool. What, what I was trying them on with and everything and I wore them a couple of times. 
But since they've just been like on the neglect pile, and I think the reason is this really weird in between leg length. Now these are a 26 waist. I don't think they had a leg. You know, you just get jeans and they're just like standard size, which for us tall girls, or if you're petite, if you kind of like, one or the other it can be kind of hard uh, to find like the perfect size when they don't have tall or short or leg lengths basically so yeah it was kind of i think at the time i was trying them on without shoes and they were that weird length but even if i wore them with trainers they're just a bit too short like if i've got like a thing on so they're a bit in between let me just go in closer i'm just looking in the mirror here by the way yeah so yeah they were just a bit in between on the length on me and i'm not I just don't feel 100% about them. Um, they're kind of high-waisted, but not super high-waisted. They just come to the kind of just around the belly button. Um, and yeah, usually what I would do if I was going to keep these, to repurpose them, I would actually cut the hem off to make them a slightly more of a cropped flare. But because they're also quite tight, that's just something I should add. <laughs> I think they're not the comfiest. They're really tight around my thighs, which I don't remember being an issue when I first got them. But I think since I've been doing like more weights in the gym and I've kind of like muscled up a bit, um, they feel really tight across this area. So it's not the most comfortable. Like I can sit down in them, the sitting room. Uh, but yeah, I just I haven't gravitated towards them. So I'm just gonna rather than try and like hack them up and repurpose them, I'm gonna just rehome them because. Yeah, they're a nice pair of jeans, but just not for me. Next, we've got this pair of MIH jeans. I absolutely love these. Um, considering I am such a high-waisted jean lover, these are quite low-waisted for me. These are more of like a mid-rise. I do prefer like a higher waist, but I just love the style. They're really comfortable, very stretched denim. I can really <laughs> move around in these. Uh, very flared. They, they've definitely got the 75, 75 going on. I like how they look on the bum. I always do the bum test with jeans. Um, yeah, just a really comfortable pair of jeans. I'll come in close with these as well. Yeah, just a really nice pair of jeans that I know I'm gonna to continue to wear, so yeah, definitely gonna keep these ones. Next, we've got these jeans from Joe's Jeans. I was gifted these, I think a year and a half ago, something like that, um, and these are the, <laughs> the Macro Flare, that is it. So they're classed as a high-rised, skinny flare. So they're not super flared, but a little bit. Now, when I got these, these were like full-length flares, but I don't think they had a leg length. These are a size, 27 so yeah they didn't have a leg length so they're just 27 and the they were supposed to be full length but they were too short full length on me so i basically just cut off the hem i have a habit of that if i'm not sure about the leg length i'd literally just get some scissors to it and just cut them straight off so this is just how they've turned out from me cutting off the bottom i wore these quite a bit it's unusual for me to have something with a ripped knee because it's not usually a style i go for i tend to wear these when I layer them over, I've got this dress from Arquette and I really like wearing these underneath. They just seem to like be the combination that I wear together. So even though these aren't a pair of jeans that I wear loads, I do really, really like them. And I really like the fit of these. Again, they're a stretch denim, they're very comfortable. I actually kind of wish I had this style without the ripped knees because I really like the shape. They're a nice sort of alternative to a skinny jean. I don't really tend to wear skinny jeans that much these days, but if I'm going for something that I want to be more streamlined on the leg. I do like it when it's got a little bit more room around the ankle. I just feel like it evens out the body shape a little bit more. I'll come in close with these. Um, yeah, just a really nice blue denim, basically. Very, very comfortable. So yeah, I'm gonna keep these ones. So next we have a pair of skinny jeans, which is quite funny because I've just said I don't really wear skinny jeans. However, I do feel like one thing I always need in my jean collection is just a simple pair of black skinny jeans because there are times when I do find them very practical. One would just be simply, if I just need to run out of my house for any reason and have no pants on, <laughs> then a pair of black skinny jeans is just the easiest thing to throw on. I can put them on my trainers, I can run out of the house, whatever, just running errands, taking the bins out, whatever it may be. But also I have some over the knee, well, thigh length boots, which the only jeans I can wear with them are skinny jeans and black ones work perfectly with them so for that reason I feel like it is the season to bring these out because I will be wearing my 
over the knee thigh high boots very soon and these are a super high waisted pair have i said that these are from one teaspoon yes they're from one teaspoon these are a 26 uh they don't, again don't have a leg length but super high waisted and you know like a high waist i'll show you they actually come up higher at the back than they do the front so they kind of like have this diagonal shape but this is good i guess if you've got like more of a booty then you've got room to fill it because it's fully like coming high i'd say for a 26 their sizing in denim definitely comes up big i would never be a 25 however i feel like i could definitely fit into a 25 in these because they're super stretch i'm like oh, they're super stretch and yeah like i could I could take a little bit off these. I'm not going to have these taken in now because I just don't really find it necessary for a pair of jeans that I don't wear that much. And also, they are a skinny jeans, so they kind of contour the body pretty well. But yeah, as far as skinny jeans go, these are a pretty good pair. Um, and because of that, I already know that I'm going to probably rehaul my next pair. One thing I should add about the one teaspoon jeans that I just had on is that they wash very well. So these have been washed several times and they've still stayed... The black that they were when they arrived so <laughs> that's enough about those okay even though i don't need two pairs of black skinny jeans I, I, there's just something in me that can't get rid of these these are the top shop jamie jeans if you're from the uk i feel like you'll know these as like <laughs> a girl's classic basic jean for a long time i think these and like the johnny jeans have been like the skin the og skinny jeans and i've had these in my wardrobe for years like I say, not jeans that I wear all the time, but when I need them, I need them. And I just think if I get rid of them, I know that's as soon as I'll want them. So for that reason, I'm actually gonna keep them, which seems silly because I'm keeping the one teaspoon black skinny jeans, but they're a very, they're just different. To wear, they feel different. These are high-waisted, but not as high-waisted, but these are like a snugger fit. These fit really, really well. These are a size 28 waist, because I, I do remember when I purchased these, they didn't have a 27, so it was either 26 or 28, and I'm not going to be fitting into a 26 in these particular jeans, so 28 it was. But the fit is just perfect as far as the skinny jean goes. I used to use these for like my modelling jeans, for castings and stuff like that quite a lot. Um, they're just a good basic skinny jean. I'm not going to go on, on about them anymore, but I'm keeping them. That's it. <laughs> We've got another pair of Joe's jeans here. These are the Jane and they're a high rise cropped jean. Um, initially, like looking at them, I like the style. I really, really like the style and the fit and everything, really comfortable. These are a 27, they fit really good. I like them on the bum, bum check. <laughs> um, and yeah, they're nice, but I know the reason that I just basically stopped wearing them and I can tell straight away it's because they get the worst, or the, <laughs> the worst knees in them and they absolutely drive me mad. I mean, these are kind of like post-wash because you know when the, the, you put them in the washing machine and then it retains the sort of elasticity or whatever that it had before. But after I'm wearing these for like a full day, the knees are horrendous and you can kind of already start to see it right now. Um, they also kind of cling a little bit to my calves because yeah, I've got a bit of carfage going on and I really don't, it kind of annoys me how they're puckering. Which is a shame because the rest of the fit is like what I like. They're a straight leg, um, the crop's nice, I also like this little detailing on the hem going on. I didn't cut these by the way, these were already like this. These are also a very thin denim and to the point that you can see all my t-shirt brushing up underneath. But yeah, very, very thin. Yeah, it's just... I'm going to rehome these. For me, I just don't love them as much as other pairs in my wardrobe, so for that reason, I'm going to rehome these. So we've got another pair of weekday jeans here. I know how many pair of weekday jeans can one girl own, but these are the Step the Via style, and these are in a peach colour. Again, the size is so confusing because these are a 26 and these fit perfectly fine. Very, very comfortable. I love the colour. I actually got these earlier this year in the sale. I think they were super cheap on ASOS and I thought they, these will be great for summer, I'll get these. However, summer came around and I only wore these a grand total of once and I think that is because the crop, they're just a little bit too cropped for me. They're supposed to be cropped but they didn't have like length options and looking at them now it's annoying me. I feel like the length needs to be slightly longer. If you were slightly shorter, I feel like the crop would be perfect. But yeah, it's just, it put me off because I don't, I didn't like the leg length. They just look they just look too short basically um, as opposed to being meant to be a crop 
So I've decided rather than repurpose these, I actually really like the fit, I love the colour. I'm actually going to cut these short and make these into shorts for when it's the summertime or when I'm next away or whatever because I often struggle just like with jeans to find shorts that I like and I like everything of the pants up until the, the legs so it makes sense I'll probably crop them to about here um, and then they can be repurposed repurposed I can even say that repurposed so to show you up close it's a really beautiful colour these are the only coloured denim jeans I have um, so yeah I am going to repurpose these and make them into shorts so let's whiz through these last few pairs so this isn't the longest denim video ever but next I've got on these barrel leg jeans from whistles these are a 26 waist and there's no particular leg size so I've just got them as is I really like the style of these and the seams kind of tapered around so you get this really nice effect at the front which I like the only problem about these is I got them in a 26 waist and to show you up close, they're just super baggy. I am definitely not a 25 and I know that if I tried to go for these in a 25, there's no way these would fit across the bum. So I've kept them as is, but I'm definitely gonna get them taken in at the tailors. So they just need this little bit nipping in here, like an inch or two. So I'll definitely take these to the Dern Doctor just to get those sorted out. I will say that they do get knees in them, which is a little bit annoying, especially for the price point, but other than that, they're not like the worst knees in jeans ever, but it does happen. You can kind of see it a little bit now. It's just worth knowing if you do decide to go for these. Oh, and I also like the fact that these are super high-waisted, which is always a tick for me. Next, we've got these Cheap Monday Revive jeans. And again, if you watch my style diaries, you will have seen these because I wear these ones quite a lot. These are sort of a mid-rise, slim fit jean and I like these as a nice alternative to a skinny because they're not skinny on the ankle they kind of go straight leg and I got these in a size 26 34 leg however they were super long as to be expected so I cut them off at the hem and these are just how they frayed naturally over time yeah love how these fit very very comfortable super elasticated and stretchy I feel like every time I say stretchy I have to stretch um, I'll come in close to show you. Yeah, they're just a good sort of basic everyday denim. A uh, good staple to have in the wardrobe, so definitely keeping these. This pair is super high-waisted, and these are a cropped flare denim from Andover Stories. I've had these for a good couple of years, and I remember when I first purchased them, I absolutely loved them. They were like the jeans that I couldn't stop wearing. But I realise now, putting them on, why I stopped wearing them, and I just remembered it's because they'd gone so baggy um these are a 27 waist and i remember at the time i tried on the 26 but they just didn't even fit so there was no like in between but you can already see like they're really starting to bag up around here we've got like camel toe going on which is never my favorite not gonna lie um and yeah as i walk and everything i just yeah it's just it, it all sorts of bag here i mean it doesn't look too bad at the moment because i think these are freshly washed from the last time i'd worn them but these are the type of jeans that when you've had them on all day they really start to bag up especially when i sit down and stuff it all gathers so it's a bit of a shame because if i stand <laughs> perfectly make it streamline uh, if i stand perfectly like this i really love the shape and everything it's super high waisted which i love the just the right amount of flareage going on but yeah, I just know that over time when I wear them, they do start to go really baggy. I feel like these might be a bit too much of a job to get tailored because it means like getting them taken in in multiple places. Um, so I might actually just re-hone these rather than, because it's not just as simple as taking them at the waist, it'd be taking them at the waist, at the crotch, everywhere. Uh, I'll come in closer. One thing I did like about these was the yellow stitch. I thought it was a really nice detail about them um but yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna have to find them let these go i think i've been holding on to them just in hope that maybe i'd fill them out or they'd miraculously fit right but yeah i'm gonna gonna rehome these ones right we are now down to the last pair of denim and i've got another pair of one teaspoon jeans on here these are a super slouchy boyfriend fit and when i first saw these i really like these because they're different to anything I have in my wardrobe. Again, these are a 26 waist, but like I said about the last pair, I'd say maybe size down in one teaspoon because they seem to come up pretty big size-wise because I'd never be a 25 in other jeans, but in these, I think I'd definitely go for a 25. However, they are supposed to be baggy, but these are super baggy. Like, I'm not gonna pull them down, but just to show you, I could, 
if I wanted to, I could take these down without unbuttoning them. <laughs> However, I have still been wearing them. I tend to wear these on really like comfy slouchy days. I'm going to use the word slouchy a lot describing these because that's just how I describe them. But I wear these a lot with trainers, but I do like how they look with heels as well. Um, they kind of come style turned off, but they also look pretty cool turned down. They're like an organic cotton and I like that this darker denim as well because I don't have any other like indigo denim in my wardrobe. I'll show you from the back and round the front. Um, so like I said, these are a bit too baggy on me and when I wear them, I usually have to wear them with a belt. But what I think I'm going to do, I think I am going to get these taken in, but ever so slightly. I mean, I could, if I wanted to, have them made into a high-waisted fit jean, which I feel like these would end up a bit like the style of the Joe's jeans that I showed earlier, that sort of fit. But I don't want to do that because I like that these are a different fit than the rest of my jeans. I want to keep them as this sort of slouchy boyfriend fit, but just have them nipped ever so slightly like that just so that they just hang a little bit better so I'm not having to like walk around and constantly pull them up. Um, Cause yeah, I do like this. It's very different to anything else in my wardrobe. And I'll definitely get a lot more wear out of these once I've had them taken in. I can imagine these will look really nice with like an oversized coat and a nice chunky knit um, for autumn winter. So excited to get more wear out of these. So these, when I take them off after I film this video, will go in the mend pile with my other two little items to fix up. So that is basically it. I have gone through everything, all of my denim jeans. So we've got 10 pairs here, we've got five to rehome, and we've got three, including this pair, to like edit kind of things. So I'm going to take these jeans and the pair from Whistles to have them taken in at the waist, and I'm going to crop the weekday ones into shorts. So yeah, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and please click that bell button, and then you'll be notified when my next video comes up. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!